Over the past 60 years, Singapore Polytechnic has produced many graduates who have made the mark of distinction with us. As we celebrate our 60th birthday as Singapore's first Polytechnic, we are proud of the achievements of the following Institutional Award winners. Anyone who was nearly electrocuted during his childhood would have developed a fear of electricity, but not Pisigan Carlo Adrian Rectra. The experience only piqued his curiosity towards electricity and energy sources. The Yishun Town Secondary School alumnus knew SP's diploma in clean energy would be the course of choice. During his three years, the SP Engineering Scholar and Model Student Award winner had the rare chance to help build Sunspec 3, Singapore's only solar car entry for the 2013 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge in Australia. The enriching experience gave Carlo fresh perspectives on engineering. Under the SP Outstanding Talent Programme, he also attended several overseas leadership development programmes to Indonesia and Malaysia. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner has accepted the NUS Undergraduate Scholarship and will be pursuing electrical engineering. Devesh Singaraju is a cancer survivor with an indomitable spirit. His love for aeronautics saw him applying for the Diploma in Aeronautical Engineering in Singapore Polytechnic after completing his studies at Commonwealth Secondary School. Undeterred by the setback, he embraced his SP journey from the word go. On top of being a class leader, this SP Engineering Scholar and Model Student Award recipient was an organising member of the SP Engineering Show in 2013. Under the SP Outstanding Talent Programme, Divesh played a key role as an organising member of the 2012 Youth Model ASEAN Conference. Grateful for the opportunities he had received, Divesh chose to return to the community. He spent time in Cambodia teaching English to village orphans and building a home for the needy. Divesh also co-founded YouthCom, a cancer support group for youths. Today, Divesh is a proud recipient of the Lee Kuan Yew Award. He has been offered a place in Imperial College London as well as our local universities to study engineering. Muhammad Noor Hidayat bin Rasiti was inspired by his late seafaring grandfather and had his heart set on sailing the seas like he did. The Tanjung Katong Secondary School alumnus chose a diploma in marine engineering as his first choice. Throughout his three years, the SP Engineering Scholar not only learned the nuts and bolts of marine engineering, but also had the opportunity to intern at Sembawang Shipyard. The internship further fueled his passion to be a marine engineer as he was exposed to the challenges and satisfactions of a seafaring career. A memorable moment for Hidayat was the time when he helped raise funds for an indigenous village and orphanage in Malaysia. The experience strengthened and shaped his resolve towards community service. He also participated in service learning trips under the SP Outstanding Talent Program. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner aspires to take up the degree in Naval Architecture offered by the University of Newcastle upon Tyne at Singapore Institute of Technology. Narissa Tiong's fascination with the media started as a student at CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls School. It was little wonder that she chose the Diploma in Media and Communication at SP. Narissa's SP journey has been eventful yet enriching. She showed grit and determination to excel, even though a fractured ankle kept her away from school for a term. She also volunteered for community service trips to Thailand and Sri Lanka. Despite her achievements, Narissa remains humble and grateful to the lecturers and friends who have helped her along the way. These qualities were well recognised by those who know and work with her, including Starcom Media Vest Group, where she served her internship. Narissa was part of a team that conducted research on how does social media affect youth happiness and well-being. This year's To Chin Chai Gold Medal winner, Narissa will pursue her degree at the Wee Kim Wee School of Communications at Nanyang Technological University under the Nanyang Scholarship. For someone who used to fight and play truant in school, Lam Ying Chen has come a long way. An alumnus from Kenridge Secondary School, Ying Chen knew he made life very difficult for his teachers at his school. All that changed when a question about his purpose in life prompted him to do some self-reflection and turned his life around. He began to study harder and his strengths in English and mathematics enabled him to do well and qualify for the Diploma in Financial Informatics. Besides academic excellence, Ying Chen was also a very active member of the Advisory Committee for Education and Course Relations where he helped to promote SP to the secondary schools. 
the experience greatly improved his interpersonal and communication skills. Yingchen was also in a village in Laos for community service. Yingchen is the recipient of the Lo Guan On Gold Medal. Yingchen has been awarded the scholarship under the new SUTD SMU Dual Degree Program in Technology and Management. Growing up in a home filled with music, music became life to Beth Yap Ping. This former student from Tanjung Cotton Girls School has had her heart set on a career in music. She decided to pursue the Diploma in Music and Audio Technology. An SP scholar, Beth was also awarded the Music and Art Scholarship. Beth is glad that the course gave her opportunities to hone her craft as a music performer, composer and arranger. Putting her skills to the test, Beth performed at the launch of Spear, a music label under her diploma course. Another memorable event was the three-week game and audio workshop in San Francisco where she recorded a song she had written at Fantasy Studio. As a key member of the SP Jazz Band, she performed and organized the annual improvised concerts held at the Esplanade that sold out for the past two years. Beth is the recipient of the Chua Chua Tech Gold Medal and will continue to pursue her passion in music. During his Clementi Town Secondary School days, Indra Farizwan bin Runzi embraced art lessons and enjoyed the outdoors. His affinity for nature, love for greenery and cityscapes fueled his artistic drive. Despite these passions, Indra was unsure about his future. It was a visit to the SP Open House that changed his life as he saw how the Diploma in Landscape Architecture combined his two loves, nature and art. Through a combination of hard work and determination, this SP Scholar and Model Student Award winner has done exceedingly well. Under the SP Outstanding Talent Program, Indra continued to develop his skills in leadership and communication. A humanitarian at heart, Indra was also active in community service programs in Singapore, China and Taiwan. The involvement opened his eyes to the needs of the less fortunate and deepened his resolve to help them. This year's Tan Kei Yong Gold Medal winner is now working at an award-winning design firm. The teenage years of Ang Bun Kiet were fraught with many challenges. This former student from Greenview Secondary School had an uphill struggle with English and failed the subject at O levels. He had no choice but to join the Institute of Technical Education and take a higher NITEC course in electronic engineering. After national service, Bun Kiet worked in a wafer fat plant for about 10 months. Upon seeing how polytechnic graduates had greater earning power, he decided to secure a better future by going back to school. He enrolled in the Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering at SP. Determined to succeed, Bun Kiet stayed back almost every day to study and was grateful that SP had recorded lessons on video for review. He has been offered a place at the Nanyang Technological University to study Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Bun Kiet is the proud recipient of the Tay Eng Soon Gold Medal. He aspires to be an electrical engineer. SP is proud to celebrate the success of our institutional award winners. These graduates have embraced our vision to prepare our students to be life-ready, work-ready and world-ready.